In the Light Shark, when you're working especially with a permanent installation, it often makes sense to control the Light Shark, whether it be an LS Core or an LS1, with OSC. One of the apps that comes to mind when thinking about OSC is the Touch OSC app. You can find it at hexler.net slash product slash touch OSC or just search for it if this URL ever gets outdated. If we scroll down, we can download the Touch OSC editor. Touch OSC is a very inexpensive app that runs on tablets and phones and the editor is actually completely free. So I'm going to go ahead and download that editor. And then I'm also going to go to workpro.es slash lightshark and go to support for LS1. This is also the support page for the LS core. And then I'm going to open up the user manual. The reason why I need to open the user manual is that we need to get the OSC functions from the user manual. Okay. Now on the support page, it is worth noting that there's also a demo file that you can download. So there's a touch OSC template right here. I'm going to download that as well, just for reference. Once the touch OSC editor is ready to go, it's a zipped file and we're going to unzip the files. Then within that folder, we can launch the exe file. Of course, this is for the Windows version. For other versions, uh, there will be instructions on the Touch OSC website. Now we have a blank page. Uh, just to show you around, let's go ahead and open up the existing LightShark file. This is the generic OSC page. And you see here, we've got a number of pages across the top that we can access. And when we click on various buttons, we're able to see, for example, the OSC tab shows us the OSC command. The full reference of OSC commands is available in that manual. So if I scroll down in the manual and I go to the OSC page, these are links by the way, I can then see the complete OSC reference. So let's build something from scratch. I'll arrange my windows side by side so you can see them well. And then I'm going to create a new template. Now, size wise, you have the ability to choose many. I'm just going to go with the tablet size. And then I'll adjust my zoom so that we can all see. Now we can go ahead and start to bring in some controls. I'm going to right click. And then I get to choose from a variety of different controls. Most often push buttons or toggles. And then we're also going to use the faders, uh, probably vertical, but you could use horizontal or rotary if you want. I'll go ahead and click a fader here to show you the setup. Scale it to whatever size you need. And then we're going to uncheck this auto box and find our command over here in the light shark menu. The example field I like a lot for a lot of these. It's very simple. And so if I want to do a fader, for example, we'll go down here, playback fader level, find the command that we want, copy it, paste it right here, take note of the value. So the value on this one, the parameter column is zero to 255. So I'll want to enter that here and then we're good to go on to the next thing. Maybe we want to put in a record button. Here's the command slash ls slash record slash ls slash rec rather. So we'll copy that and then we'll go over here, create a button. This will be a push button. So a toggle button. The other option is one that would stay sending the command, It'd stay toggled in. Going to get rid of the extra space as well. And then this is from zero to one. So we're good there. Then you're going to want to go ahead, save your layout call it whatever you'd like. And to sync it to your new device, there are two primary ways to do this. You can use the sync to device function here. And as long as your two devices are on the same network, you can walk through these settings in order to sync it. Alternatively, if you're on Android, you can go ahead and just download them and browse the downloads folder, grab the file and you're good to go. In fact, we have a tutorial on this that is here. And with that, you're off to the races. You can lay out your OSC layout however you want. You want to give the client two faders? Give them two faders. You want to give a client or installation, you know, five faders and 20 buttons? It's up to you.
You can go in here, you can add buttons, you can add labels, which is very important. And you can place them on top of the buttons. Ultimately, the way you lay it out and whatever kind of custom things you do, if you bring in images or what have you to be able to make it look more interesting, that's up to you. But this tutorial will walk you through the basics of getting that first template set up so that you can create some really awesome custom pages for your clients so they're able to control their light shark well and you feel like a million bucks giving them a completely custom solution. Thanks. Thank you.